Well, it's a little chilly. I better get a jacket. It's probably just in the 30s. That's a little better. Hi, if you liked my videos, please click the bell so you can be notified and come back often because I have new videos every week. I could go for a hike down there, but it's getting late in the day. I want to go see a couple of arches and then move on, try to find a camp for the night. Let's see the arch over there. There's a few more people here than I would like, but even though it's cold, it's a beautiful sunny day. I missed the entrance for that that big arch up there. I made a wrong turn. There's a sign right there. I totally missed it. I was just I was distracted, folks. I was doing high production. It's still there. It's not perfect, but what are you gonna do? There's another arch over there, but you've seen one, you've seen them all. I can't imagine this in the summertime or spring and fall. It must be teaming up with people. If I'm gonna go to some place in the middle of nowhere, I'd rather be secluded, not have a lot of people. But it's just the way it is, folks. This is where all the tourists come, and I guess I'm one of them. Well, folks, it's warming up. The little walk made me hot, but it's cold. Don't don't let the sun fool you. It's I'm a little tired, and I think I'm going to stay here for the night. They do allow overnight parking, so I don't particularly like places like this in the middle of nowhere. I'd rather be out in the woods or the desert, you know, out of the way, camping, but you take what you get or you get what you take and this is what I got. You hear that folks? That's the sound of trucks running all night. I slept like Yeah, <clears throat> there's all the noisy trucks. Moving on this morning, folks, to a place I have not been to since 2016. We'll see if the roads are clear and if I can get up there. But if I can, even though it's going to be a little bit cold, I will... I will try to stay there a couple days, but I think from what I saw on the weather channel It's going to be a lot warmer over there than over here and over here. It was like 14 degrees this morning Probably lower with the wind chill so pretty chilly <laughs> The vastness that is this great country we call America this is just one of those places along all the places that I've been through, they're just, it's just vastness as far as the eye can see. Look at that. It's just empty, empty land, sparsed with some farming, 
But over here in this area, it's mostly, it's mostly what you see right here. And it's just, it's, it's beautiful. It's miles and miles and hundreds of miles of just vastness of mountains and valleys and trees and... looking very promising. There's no snow on the ground, very little, just here and there. So it's looking promising. It looks like I can go in there. But the, the last time I was here, I didn't have... Oh, I see it. <laughs> I see it from here. Well, folks, it's been a few years, and I always said if I came back this way, I would camp over here. And here I am again. What is it, like four, four plus years later? And it's still there, folks. It's still, the hat is still up there. It hasn't fallen off yet. Ha! 2016, the last time I was up there on the top of that, well, underneath the hat. First night I camped right over here. I'm going to shut off the van and I'm going to walk up there because the road is a little bit iffy. Yep. The road is a little rough over here. It still doesn't look any better than it was four years ago. Darn it. It's actually worse. Wow, look at this. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it this this time wow well maybe if i can maybe if i can uh put the tire on one tire over here and one tire over here maybe i don't know if i want to risk it though that's kind of tough i just got to make sure that there's nobody up there and from what i remember i think i can turn around the place I camped at a few years ago is right over here. This is going to be really tight, I think, unless I back in. I actually backed in right over here, right at the edge, and I was freaking out. So I put some rocks behind my wheel because <laughs> it's quite a long way down, folks. A couple hundred feet down, and the San Juan River runs right down there. Also, another place I can go camp at is down there. I can camp on those spots. I'll be closer to the river and the road is a lot better. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I think coming over here with my van is a mistake because it's not that easy to come over here. Not with a trailer anyway. So I guess I'll go down there that is a lot better than up here, I think. And the road going down there is easier than coming up here, that's for sure. It's not even worth trying going up there. If I didn't have the trailer, I would go, most likely, maybe, because the road is worse than it was before. But with the trailer, uh, I just don't want to do it. It ain't worth it, folks, it ain't worth it. Not when I have a nice camp spot right by the river. You know, I just realized that I've never walked this road and I never driven this road. So I'm hoping that it's better than the one up there. I guess I should have come down here first and I didn't. Oh boy. I'm just assuming because it looks good from up there. So far it's a little rocky, but too late to turn around now. Uh oh, uh oh. I hope I can come back up. It's too late now. So I got the option of a couple campsites over here. They're pretty nice. 
this is one of them and here's the other campsite I kind of like this one better I don't think there's anything else over there that's better than this one I'm pretty far from the road I think I'm gonna snag this one up snagging it up folks okay it helps to put it in reverse hopefully I'm not gonna bottom out over here this is a dead end and I'm going straight in but I can back up so that should not be a problem oh yeah I got a nice fire ring over there it's perfect folks yeehaw I'm gonna use my handy dandy level and I'm gonna check to see if the van is leveled it looks pretty leveled but I'm gonna put it over here on the frame look at that folks perfect and now side to side <laughs> perfect I don't think I need any blocks or anything the terrain isn't leveled but the van is leveled don't look like it it doesn't look like it's leveled but by golly I am leveled It's been a while since the flag's been up, but now the flag is up with a beautiful background over here. Cool. And I think some cornbread is in order, folks. What do you think? Cornbread? Beautiful day today. Not cold at all. In the shade, it feels cold, but in the sun, it feels really nice. And I'm going to walk all the way down there to the last camping spot right by the river. But I think I like mine better. And where I'm at, I'm way off the road. My camp spot is the best one. Because if I camped over here, this is a one-way road. Everybody that comes down this road is going to have to make a U-turn right over here. I think I have a pretty good spot. I'm leveled. Nobody's going to go down there. I don't know if you noticed something else. Listen. There's no trucks rumbling with their engines all night. There's no, no people screaming and yelling. There's, uh, there's quietness, folks. Quietness. I got scared for a second. I thought those were bears. They're cows. For a second, I thought they were a bear. <laughs>
Well, folks, as soon as the sun starts going down, the cold starts seeping in. I think it's time for dinner. Maybe I'll turn my Webasta on. Maybe I should. And I thought I was going to be here uh, at least a week, even though it's cold. But things happened out of my control. And I'm going to have to move sooner than I thought. And I think I'm going to end up... Well, I want to go where it's warmer, obviously. And um, and I think I'm going to end up somewhere in a vicinity near Quartzsite, Arizona. So the next few days I'll be over there probably, give or take a, few, a day or two, you know. Uh, a few days from now I'll probably be down there. I still have to go. I have to do some stuff, so... Yeah, so that's probably where I'm going to end up. And if any of you folks are in a vicinity um, and you want to come and stop by and say hi or hang out for a day or, you know, just let me know. Go on Facebook, send me a message, let me know, and uh, I'll give you the coordinates. So, yeah, I thought I was going to be here longer, but unfortunately... I'm only going to be here a couple of days, so it's just the way it is, folks. Just the way it is. But more about that next time. Dinner! What am I going to eat? Behold, I am going to send my messenger, and he will clear the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple and the messenger of the covenant, in whom you delight, behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. Malachi 3, 1.